Hi everyone, it's Tanya. Um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about something all of us hygienists do at every visit, which is um, the perio charting, um, or the measuring of your gum tissue, we sometimes call it. And a lot of people hear us saying numbers or informing you that you have pockets that might be a little deeper than they should be. So I'm just gonna explain to you a little bit about what that means today. Um, you can take a look at this diagram right here. On this side of the diagram, we have a healthy mouth. Um, you have a nice bone right here, and on top of the bone, you have gum tissue. And what attaches the tooth into the socket are these attachment fibers from the gum tissue connecting the bone to the tooth. So when we do our measuring, we're actually taking a little measuring stick called a probe, and we insert it into a little space between the gum tissue and the tooth. And if you have um, a normal healthy mouth, you get measurements anywhere from zero to three millimeters. Um, so that's a nice healthy mouth, someone who's brushing twice a day, flossing every day. On the other side of this diagram, we have a mouth um, that is starting to um, come down with periodontal disease or deeper pocketing of the gum tissue. Now you can see the same thing. Here's your tooth sitting in the socket, but you notice on this side, um, the bone has started to dissolve a bit and the gum tissue is more blunted and very red so when we would do the probing you often get bleeding or at home when you're flossing and maybe even brushing you'll see bleeding and that's because the gum tissue is inflamed with bacteria and not very healthy. So um, when we do the measuring on this side we get measurements anywhere from four, five, six, seven, sometimes all the way up to 10 millimeters. And um, the more attachment and bone that you lose, the deeper the pocketing. And when the pocketing gets deep to that level, it's very hard to maintain um, by just regular brushing and flossing on your part at home. So what we um, try to do is we get into more areas of periodontal treatment. So that's why we do the measuring of your gums. We do it once a year for every patient um, and we make sure that by doing that your gums are on this side of the diagram which is a healthy position. So that's just a little bit of information about um, periodontal charting or measuring of the gums and just might help you understand why we do that uh, once a year for you. Thank you.